What do you want to be when you grow up? Which college are you going to? What's your major? Are you going to grad school? Where are you going to work after graduation? These questions might mean well, but they're distracting. And my talk today is on what these questions are getting in the way of and how to fix it. My perspective comes from professional experience. For example, college and career counselor, working with students, um, also as a professor. But it also comes from personal experience. In high school and college, I was fixated on the career itself, not on the life that came with it and whether that life was what I wanted. And that was a mistake. You know how parents like to tell students to find their passion? Well, my passion was to be a news reporter. I was obsessed with it, and I chose my college mostly for its journalism program. When I got this fabulous internship at NBC in New York City the summer after my freshman year, I could have powered Manhattan with my excitement. But several weeks in, I overheard a phone call between the reporter I was interning for and her children. She was kind of tucking them into bed over the phone because she wasn't going to be able to make it home in time, and that was very obviously a routine. My heart sank. I had never really articulated it before, but I always knew that I wanted to be a very present mother one day. And so in that moment, I just felt the rug being yanked out from under me. This was the wrong fit. And it was really devastating. So I looked at college and I thought, it would just be a waste to stay here. So I graduated early and just left. The problem is millennials like me and Gen Zers are searching for more fulfillment and more meaning out of life, but they're not getting it. In our high-speed world, we are just staring at what is immediately in front of us, putting out the fires of college apps and job hunting. And it is stressful, and it is overwhelming. And to me, it is no wonder why mental illness on high school and college campuses is now an epidemic. There's so much to do, but what's the point? And college should be this remarkable, awesome, purposeful time in a person's life. But for many students today, it can be a huge letdown. We are spending more money and more time on higher education than ever before, and we're getting worse results. Clearly, we have not been adequate in guiding our students. So what's the solution? We need to coach our students on applying themselves. But the emphasis should not be on applying. The emphasis should be on applying themselves, their values, their goals, their lives, when going through the college and career planning process. And I'm not just talking about career interest inventories and aptitude tests. I'm talking about more. As parents, educators, and mentors, we know there's a much bigger picture to who these students are. And we can do a better job helping them identify who they are, what makes them unique, what makes them happy, what their personalities are like, how to define success and work-life balance according to them. Tell your students, don't just apply to college. See how that college applies to you. And so rather than being at the mercy of the application process, young adults can be empowered. They can feel grounded and in control of their own lives. And that can be on campus and at work. They'll be living with purpose. We shouldn't just be asking students, which college are you getting into? Or what line of work are you getting into? We should be asking also, what are you going to get out of this? I wish I had guidance like that when I was in high school. It would have saved me a lot of strife. But at least it's what drives my work today. And that really has become my new passion. I hope you'll join me in helping students adopt a healthier, more holistic perspective, one about how colleges and careers fit into their lives, not the other way around. Thank you.